All right, so there are two primary coding boot camps that I'm considering right now. I'm going to be making a decision on which one I'm going to within the next week or so, but I just wanted to kind of break down my thought process going into coding boot camp, making this final decision on the coding boot camp to go to, and hopefully give you some pointers. So we've recently had a change of circumstance, and I am now going to be instead of going to an in-person boot camp, which we were originally planning on making a move for and attending full time. I'm going to be attending online coding boot camp. It just ended up being a better fit for our family, our schedule, the business that I currently run. It's actually going to end up costing uh, significantly more to go to the online coding boot camp because I am picking between two of the kind of more popular coding boot camps that are available. I'm going to be choosing between Flatiron Coding School or General Assembly. There's some interesting differences between the two of them. Although the curriculum is pretty similar, they teach a lot of the same subjects and um, I'm not really picking one or the other. I don't think I'm going to be missing out on a ton either way, but I have pretty solidly decided on one of them and you're going to see why in this video. So I thought that real quick we could just kind of take a quick look at each of the syllabus. Syllabi? Syllabuses? Syllabuzangulos? Syllabus is syllabi. Syllabi. It's syllabi. We're going to look at uh, the respective syllabi for the coding bootcamp and just see kind of what the key differences are. There's really not many. The real difference is in the timeline that they have available. So. We're going to start off with Flatiron. So going into Flatiron, we have the software engineering. They have a uh, prep work that needs to be done beforehand. Um, that prep work takes approximately a week to complete from what I've been able to find. Um, it's about 20 hours or so of pre-work that's going through HTML, CSS, um, stuff like that, kind of learning the basics of those two and then getting a little bit into JavaScript as well. Going through phase one of Coding Bootcamp, they look at the front end web development. So you cover things like how JavaScript works, uh, covering the DOM, and then you go on in phase two to learn a front end framework, this framework being React specifically. Both of the schools that I'm choosing between uh, utilize the MERN stack. Um, so that's MongoDB, Express, React, and Node.js. So similar topics being taught, and these are both project-based schools as well. So you're producing projects throughout the entirety of the course. Phase two of uh, phase two of Flatiron Bootcamp is learning the React JS framework and building a small project that interacts with an API. Phase three, you go on to start learning Python. And um, with that, you start to kind of learn a lot about object-oriented programming and using databases uh, like SQL. And then you go into backend web APIs for phase four, learning about Flask, the uh, Python framework. Um, and then you create, it looks like another project, um, creating a JSON API. And then at phase five, you have a cumulative project. So you take all of the things that you've done so far and you kind of combine those into one final solid large project now during this time you're also receiving career guidance from day one with Flatiron. you get career guidance um, on a relatively regular basis and then as soon as you're about 70 percent of the way through boot camp it becomes a lot more structured and one-on-one -on -one where you're doing mock interviews brushing up your resume, making your LinkedIn presentable, things like that. So you can actually begin to apply for jobs and have a reasonable stake in the job market by the time you exit boot camp. I'm going to be um, pretty quick with General Assembly because frankly, it's very similar. You have prerequisites. There's a uh, pre-learning course that you go through. This one says it's about 14 hours of prep work, uh, including HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So very similar. Just like Flatiron, General Assembly is very project based. So as you learn, you iterate on specific projects that you're doing both as an individual and with your classmates. And there are homework assignments and unit projects outside of class as well that integrate what you're currently learning in order to build your portfolio during the time at boot camp. At General Assembly, I was able to speak to one of the counselors. I actually spoke to a counselor at each of these. It sounds like their career coaching is a little bit different. From day one, you have access to career coaching. It's uh, it's it's career coaching based education, but you also have the ability to access those career coaches 
during office hours, which I wasn't able to quite get from Flatiron. I, I, I didn't, I didn't ask specifically, but it didn't seem to me like they have open office hours from day one with the career coach. You start having one-on-one -on -one interaction with your career coach at Flatiron when you're about 70% of the way through the course. But up until then, it sounds like it's just very generalized education on how to approach starting your career. One thing that I like about both of these boot camps is they have an alumni network. So you're able to connect with people who have previously graduated. So just with that, you have quite a large network that you're dealing with to potentially reach out for future jobs or just to generally network and get to know people in the developer community as well that went through that same bootcamp experience. So unit one, um, you get acquainted with basic web tools. Um, you learn how to use the command line. You go over once again, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So to, just to like reinforce those things and make sure that you're learning some more advanced topics as well. DOM manipulation, programming concepts such as functions, variable scope, etc. Using Git and GitHub, um, really the same kind of learning that you go through with Flatiron. Now, I didn't see this in the syllabus for Flatiron, but in phase two, you go into the full stack development with General Assembly, and that includes starting to learn about algorithmic complexity and big O notation, which is pretty important for passing technical interviews. So that's uh, something that is definitely valuable. I don't know that Flatiron doesn't offer that, but it, certain, it certainly hasn't been emphasized in their syllabus. Unit three, you start learning about front end frameworks. So that's when you start using React specifically. And then unit four, you learn a lot about APIs and doing full stack development. So you go into third party APIs, um, you learn data structures, including linked lists and queues, things like that. And then at the end of that, you've applied what you've learned to a final project. And that comes with a tech spec that you're given. Um, so very similar to what you would receive if you were actually in the workforce and then you build the application out to fit that technical specification. So really solid, very straightforward seeming um, in terms of how the general workflow goes, but also the General Assembly specifically seems to really mimic a professional environment based on what I've been able to uh, uncover. Okay, let's look into pricing real quick. If you've been looking into either of these, you know that these boot camps are not cheap. That said, they are relatively close in pricing to each other. General Assembly comes in at $16,450 uh, currently as of January of 2023. And Flatiron comes in at $17,900. They both have financing options and I believe they both have an ISA as well. So if you qualify, you could uh, potentially get in on that ISA deal. It's currently January and peak hiring season is typically in August through October of the year. That's kind of when most of the hiring gets done. Actually, approximately 45% of all interviews take place during that time in the tech world. So I'm looking to be as prepared as possible by the time that time comes around. I want to be fully into submitting applications, building unique projects, and finding unique ways to get in touch with employers so that I can get as many interviews as possible in front of me. With that said, I'm also not in a massive hurry to get things done. I think six months is a really good cap uh, of time to kind of solidify things, but uh, doing something like a three month course, for example, uh, is something that in my opinion is just a too quick for me right now. Flatiron offers a course that is 15 weeks long, but the hours are about 60 hours a week. So it's extremely intensive. And frankly, I feel like given the ability to kind of maneuver between three to six months currently, I'm a little bit flexible on that. I would rather spend six months learning and have extra time, A, to produce a little bit of income through my business on the side, but B, to be able to have time off where I can collaborate with my fellow students and build out other projects or make our current projects even better through collaboration and to just have a longer time to really solidify the knowledge that I'm learning about and potentially build upon what I was going to be learning at bootcamp in the first place. I feel like going to a three month course that's extremely intensive, I could probably get by and be job ready by the time I'm at the end of that, but it'll be extremely intensive rather than taking an extra three months to learn a little bit more slowly, but be able to add more on top of that. So by the time six months is over, I know much more than I would have if I had taken only three months going full bore to learn the bare minimum to get into the job market. So honestly, I see the credibility of both of these schools relatively equal 
They both have a ton of graduates. They have a huge alumni network. And a lot of these graduates are employees at really reputable companies or big tech companies. So I'm not really worried about what my choice ends up being either way, but specifically because of this time frame constraint, I am choosing to go with General Assembly. I'm choosing to go with their part-time option, which is 24 weeks. So that's six months exactly. And uh, I'm going to be attending here in within the, within the next month. So that'll get me out of boot camp right around August. I'll be able to be applying full time at that time, having done mock interviews, building projects, etc. The reason I'm not going to Flatiron is because they're full time. So both General Assembly and Flatiron offer live instruction on their full time courses. General Assembly also offers live instruction on their part-time course. Flatiron, however, does not offer live lectures for their part-time students. This was kind of a sore spot for me. It was a little bit of a deal breaker when it came to the part-time schedule. If I were to choose one or the other between part-time and full-time, I'd probably be doing part-time either way because it allows that extra flexibility for me. And Flatiron not offering the live lectures was kind of a it kind of made the choice really obvious in terms of going part-time to be general assembly because i want to be able to just click the raise hand button in a lecture and be able to ask a question right then and there if i don't totally get something and not being able to do that with flat iron would feel a lot you'd have access still to teachers and mentors outside of that learning situation but without being able to immediately get feedback or have a question answered it just felt a little too much like the self-studying that I've already been doing, where you have to wait a while for a reply from somebody if you have a question that you need answered. And that's just not what I'm looking for, especially out of a boot camp that I'm paying almost $20,000 for. So that is where my decision comes from. Uh, I hope this helped you at least a little bit in deciding between the two. If you're considering one or the other, then hopefully this helped you a little bit. Honestly, if I was going full-time, I'm not totally sure which one I would pick between at this point. I think I would have to do a little bit more vetting to really get a good idea of which way I want it to go. They're both rated almost identically on course report. Flatiron comes in with a 4.49 out of 5 stars with 556 reviews. General Assembly comes with 4.3 stars at 594 reviews. So it's kind of a toss up in terms of the public's feedback. But for me going the part time route, it made more sense to just pick General Assembly. So that's the direction that I'm going to be going. I'm actually doing my pre course work right now. And uh, I have one last interview before I pay for the bootcamp and am officially signed up. So it really does seem like a toss up between the two of them. I would look into the syllabus just like we did really quickly in this course. I would definitely talk to admissions if you're still considering between the two. And that would be one fee piece of feedback actually about both of these is it was pretty hard to get in touch with somebody. Not hard, but you have to actually apply to the school before anybody reaches out to talk to you and they don't have their phone number prominently displayed anywhere on the website. Honestly, I think it's in terms of a sales funnel, I think it's a pretty big point of resistance for both of these places that if one of them just had a phone number that you could call and get in touch with admissions really quickly, I think that would be that would open a lot of the top end of the funnel, I think, for them and they'd get a lot more lead flow compared to the other. But that's also not the business that I'm in. So that's just one guy's opinion. But anyways, I hope this was helpful for you. I will see you soon in another video. Peace.